Perhaps even Elon Musk himself could not have imagined that one day, the reason his Tesla bot Optimus would be called the best-selling product on the entire market would be its role in doing household chores, especially cooking for families. Looking at the recent updates, as much as 90% of the tasks officially showcased by Tesla are household-related, such as cooking, collecting trash, ironing clothes, cleaning windows, and tidying up the home. When the Tesla bot was first introduced at Tesla's AI Day in 2021, Elon Musk described Optimus as a human-friendly machine designed to operate in environments built for people, helping to eliminate repetitive or dangerous tasks that humans are forced to perform. However, it seems that this original vision has gradually taken a backseat to the idea of a humanoid robot dedicated to household work. The idea of a Tesla bot Gen 3 redefining home cooking in 2026 attracts users not because it is exciting or guaranteed, but because it represents a logical convergence of artificial intelligence, robotics, and automation trends that are already transforming our world. Envisioned as a next-generation cooking robot, Tesla Bot Gen 3 would mark a major turning point, demonstrating that intelligent humanoid robots can fully coexist with humans in a friendly and peaceful manner. At its core, the appeal of the Tesla Bot Gen 3 cooking robot lies in the fact that it would not merely follow recipes, but understand food as a system, ingredients, chemistry, timing, nutrition, preferences, and safety. Rather than being programmed to cook individual dishes one by one, such a robot could continuously learn and refine its techniques through vision systems, force feedback, and large AI models trained on massive datasets of human cooking behavior. The idea of 3,000 massive capabilities should be understood as the accumulation of many small, composable skills. In robotics, each task, holding a knife, cracking an egg, adjusting heat, detecting spoiled food, or plating a dish attractively constitutes a distinct capability. When combined, these skills unlock value at an exponential scale. In theory, a third-generation robot could seamlessly switch between different cuisines, adapt recipes to dietary requirements, intelligently substitute ingredients, and even optimize meals based on health metrics such as calories, macronutrients, or allergens. This is precisely where traditional kitchen appliances fall short. They automate actions, not decisions. What evidence suggests that Tesla Bot Gen 3 could be the best cooking machine of 2026? First, it's important to clarify one key point. The yellow and black Tesla Bot images with the updated arms that we've seen recently are not Optimus Gen 3. Elon Musk himself has clearly confirmed that Tesla has not yet revealed Optimus 5.3, and those images show only version 2 and version 2.5, units that are remotely controlled for testing purposes. This distinction matters a lot because Optimus Gen 3, according to the current plan, is set to launch in January. And this is no longer an experimental prototype. It will be the first fully finished version, polished and refined to operate in the real world. If Optimus Gen 2 relied on teleoperation and even suffered falls during testing, Tesla, bot, Gen 3 is designed to be fully autonomous. Elon Musk states that Optimus Gen 3 can complete up to 100 open-ended tasks per day thanks to its ability to learn and imitate human behavior. He even believes the robot could cook daily and prepare breakfast, functioning like a true household assistant. This isn't emotional marketing. It's a strategic statement that reflects Tesla's long-term ambitions. From the very first prototype known as Bumblebee to Gen 1, Gen 2 and Gen 2.5, Tesla Bot has evolved in a clearly visible way. Each version represents a leap forward not only in software, but especially in physical design. Many people tend to underestimate the importance of humanoid robot design. But in reality, roughly 65% of a humanoid robot's performance comes from its design. If a robot is too heavy, it consumes enormous amounts of energy just to move. If it's too light, it loses stability and risks falling at any moment. That's why Optimus 5 2.5 was refined with softer lines, neatly enclosed joints, fewer exposed cables, and an overall appearance that feels far more like a finished commercial product than an experimental prototype. We believe the clearest picture of Optimus's true potential begins in the most familiar place of all, the kitchen. Cooking isn't just a series of repetitive mechanical actions. It's a comprehensive, real-world, and highly delicate challenge for any humanoid robot. Even a seemingly simple breakfast like bacon and eggs requires Optimus to open the refrigerator properly, 
recognize and sort ingredients, lift eggs without cracking them, turn on the stove, control a pan, crack the eggs, add oil, stir evenly, and time every single step with precision. Okay, you may not realize this, but every small action performed by the Tesla bot requires a perfect fusion of dexterous hands, sharp perception, and seamless real-time coordination. When a robot can cook, it's not just a technical achievement. It's a milestone that signals it has crossed the line from an industrial machine to an entity capable of living and operating naturally in the human world. And this is where the difference from today's robots becomes clearer than ever. The robotic arms inside Tesla factories can weld car frames or assemble components with near-perfect speed and precision, but all of that happens in standardized, repetitive, and fully predictable environments. Put those same systems into a kitchen, and they would be almost completely useless. Optimus Gen 3 can now use a frying pan, crack eggs, cook them properly, and remove them at exactly the right moment. A level of skill that feels almost unreal. To reach this capability, Elon Musk says the engineering team trained Optimus relentlessly for as long as possible. Their goal was to push the robot to a point of true mastery, where every movement is precise and errors are nearly eliminated. That effort expanded Tesla Bot Gen 3's skill set from a few hundred actions to around 3,000 tasks, nearly double that of version 2.5, which was still controversial due to its strange falls during teleoperated testing. This surge in capability is driven in part by Optimus's unique brain, which Elon Musk describes as a real brain, not just a conventional control system. With Gen 3, Optimus can watch cooking videos, observe how ingredients are prepped, or how a kitchen is cleaned, then run billions of simulations in a virtual environment. Through this process, it fine-tunes every movement and posture before reproducing the task naturally and smoothly in the real world. When a robot can be programmed to prepare an entire dinner, the idea of coming home after a long, exhausting day to be thoughtfully taken care of no longer feels far-fetched. As Elon Musk puts it, for Optimus Gen 3 to reach the ability to cook and successfully pass this challenge, Tesla has been working on multiple fronts at once. Alongside physical design, the company is gradually integrating XAI's Grok voice into Optimus, allowing the robot to answer questions using spoken language. While response times are still somewhat slow and occasionally hesitant, this is a meaningful step forward. But for Optimus to become truly useful in everyday life, especially in the kitchen, Tesla has had to invest heavily in what matters most, the robot's brain and its hands. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized that humans evolved the way we did and that the entire world around us, from tools and objects to living environments, is designed for humans, especially for human hands. The human hand has more than 27 degrees of freedom, with tendons and muscles working like an intricate puppet mechanism that is both powerful and precise. Thanks to our hands, we can swing a baseball bat, thread a needle, play the piano, assemble and disassemble a car. No other part of the human body comes close to this level of flexibility and versatility. If the goal is to create a truly general-purpose robot, the problem of the hand must be solved first. This is also where, like most, most other robotics companies, this fail. They can build machines that walk, run, jump, even box or play table tennis, yet those same robots can't peel an orange, wash vegetables under running water, or cook a simple meal. Cooking is the harshest integrated test for a humanoid robot. Why Tesla Bot Gen 3? Outperforms all competitors. Real-world AI, hands, or learning at scale. If in the past, Tesla's Optimus had only one serious rival, the figure AI humanoid robot, things are different now. Elon Musk may need to be a lot more cautious because the number of humanoid robots packed with advanced technology is growing fast. Every month, sometimes every week, a new humanoid robot gets announced. And among Tesla's newest competitors, the Xpeng Iron Humanoid Robot is getting a ton of attention, with many people believing this might actually be the real challenger standing in Musk's way in the humanoid robot race. However, Elon Musk has declared that Tesla Optimus Gen 3 will ultimately beat every competitor, especially Xpeng Iron, because he believes Tesla has three advantages. Xpeng doesn't. Optimus can cook, clean, and handle household tasks that the Xpeng robot simply can't. Are robots really going to take our jobs? It's a question that feels a lot less hypothetical these days, especially after Elon Musk posted on X last month saying, AI and robots will replace all jobs. 
Working will be optional, like growing your own vegetables instead of buying them at the store. That one line alone has everyone thinking hard, and honestly, it leaves us feeling a strange mix of excitement and anxiety. Lately, we've seen a wave of new humanoid robots pop up from China, the U.S., and across Europe. Most of them still look pretty rough. Awkward movements, clunky builds, and sometimes they're so unpolished that people can't help but laugh. But the Tesla bot is different. It's the one robot people are actually taking seriously because it might be the most balanced humanoid we've seen so far both in terms of design and actual capability. What separates Tesla Bot Gen 3 from competitors like Xpeng Iron is not appearance, smooth walking, or stage demonstrations. Xpeng Iron really doesn't resemble traditional robots. It doesn't have an exposed metal shell. Its whole body is covered with flexible fibers, and its interior is composed of a human-like spine and bionic muscles, following a three-layer structure of bone muscle skin. It has a female chest, and even its height and weight are similar to those of a real human. It stands around 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighs 176 pounds, uses a bionic spine and soft full-body skin, and packs more than 60 joints with up to around 200 degrees of freedom. Each hand reaches about 22 degrees of freedom. On stage, iron moves so smoothly that many people were convinced it was just a human in a suit, so Xpeng cut open the skin on the spot to prove that there was no real person hidden inside. But cooking does not happen on a stage. Cooking happens in chaotic, unpredictable environments filled with heat, liquids, fragile ingredients, timing constraints, and safety risks. Tesla is not chasing maximum degrees of freedom across the entire body. Instead, Tesla uses roughly 40 degrees of freedom, but spends its complexity budget where it matters most, the hands. The goal is not to impress the audience with lifelike hip motion, it's to let Optimus grasp tools, turn knobs, fold clothes, pick items from bins, and interact with real objects predictably and reliably. And unlike Xpeng, Tesla is not starting from zero on the AI side. Optimus is built on the same core philosophy and much of the same software stack as Tesla's full self-driving system, which has already been trained on billions of kilometers of real-world data. Tesla has a complete pipeline for collecting camera data, labeling it, training large neural networks, running them efficiently on edge hardware, and iterating quickly as the real world provides continuous feedback. That same pipeline now feeds Optimus. Recent demos, where the robot imitates human movements or picks and places objects, are not hand-coded animations, but examples of vision-based imitation learning running on a mature AI infrastructure. This matters enormously for cooking. Optimus can watch a YouTube tutorial or observe a human perform a task, then train itself billions of times in a simulated environment. Thanks to this, Optimus can learn up to 100 new tasks per day. And once one robot learns a new skill, the entire network of robots can acquire it instantly. This is the power of collective learning, something humans will never possess. Strategically, Xpeng is aiming iron at retail, tourism, and service scenarios first, where appearance and emotional interaction are critical. Tesla, in contrast, has been almost boringly consistent. Optimus exists to take over dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks in Tesla's own factories. First, then in other companies' factories, and eventually in homes. In that context, Optimus's supposedly simpler design suddenly looks very rational. A robot that can survive factories, kitchens, and homes without fragile synthetic skin is exactly what real cooking demands. According to Musk, three exceptionally difficult challenges have prevented most companies from building truly effective robots. Engineering functional arms and hands, developing artificial intelligence that can operate reliably in the real world, and achieving large-scale manufacturing. What can we expect from Tesla Bot Gen 3 when it launches in April 2026? What makes Optimus Gen 3 truly unsettling lies in the fusion of hardware and software? Once the hands become sufficiently dexterous, Tesla can integrate large language models, allowing users to give commands directly by voice. Optimus could even search for a cooking recipe online if it has never prepared that dish before. More importantly, as we've emphasized many times, Optimus has the ability to learn from video. When a robot can be programmed to prepare an entire dinner, the idea of coming home after a long, exhausting day to be thoughtfully taken care of no longer feels far-fetched. Optimus doesn't just reduce the burden of household chores, 
It opens the door to a future where humans can focus more on what they truly want to do. As Elon Musk puts it, that AI and robotics continue to advance, which they are advancing very rapidly. Like I said, working will be optional, and people will have any goods and services that they want. Elon Musk estimates that once Optimus reaches production at a scale of around 1 million units per year, its price could stabilize between $20,000 and $25,000. That may sound expensive, but compared to the long-term cost of hiring domestic help, a personal chef, or elderly care, it could be a very reasonable investment. The AI chip alone inside Optimus is estimated to cost between $5,000 and $6,000, and each arm contains up to 26 actuators, highlighting the machine's complexity. History has already shown that Tesla turned electric vehicle batteries from a luxury technology into a mass market one, and there's little reason to believe they can't do the same with Optimus. Musk often compares Tesla's electric vehicles to fully realized robots on four wheels. They already possess large battery packs, motors, power electronics, gearboxes, connectivity systems, vision-based AI, custom processing chips, and the ability to operate as a coordinated fleet of autonomous robots. From this perspective, Musk argues that Tesla is already the world's largest robot manufacturer, and that Optimus is simply a conversion from wheels to arms and legs, such as Tesla is already the biggest robot manufacturer in the world because every car we make is a robot. However, Musk also acknowledges three major technical barriers that prevent most other companies from creating truly useful humanoid robots. Building sophisticated arms and hands, developing artificial intelligence, capable of understanding and operating in the real world, and most critically, achieving mass production at an enormous scale. It is precisely because Tesla has overcome all three barriers that Optimus has become a dream the company is now turning into reality. Beyond cooking, Optimus being able to do laundry at home represents a similar level of complexity. Like cooking, laundry is a multi-step process that requires reasoning and judgment. Sorting clothes, operating machines, folding garments, these tasks demand the same precision, timing, and dexterity as cooking. If Optimus can complete the entire laundry cycle, then ultimately it means freeing families from hours of tedious household work every single week. So in a chaotic, non-standardized home kitchen, can Optimus truly guarantee safety when dealing with fire, sharp tools, and spoiled food? Or does it introduce new risks compared to human cooks? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.